What's up YouTube and welcome back to Scorchers Lounge and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a potential sneaker of the year. Alright, let's get the handy dandy Brian knife out, you feel me? Haven't whipped you out a lot. Pause. <laughs> Haven't took you out a lot this year, huh? But let's go. Now, in my opinion, my opinion, this shoe right here is top three, probably, sneaker of the year for me. And it's already February, the beginning of the year. And I'm so excited about this sneaker. I'm so excited about this sneaker. Look what happened when I was doing a video last time and this came to my door. So about, so excited about this sneaker, it interrupted my video from last time. Breaking, breaking news. I don't know if y'all guys saw me as I was doing my review. Sometimes I was looking to the side a little bit. I have a little clock. Because today, the Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined Shock Drop. And I got them. I got them. I got them. So let's get back to the review. I'm super excited now because I really wanted these so bad. And I got them. I love it, man. It's a shock drop, so guess what? When release day comes, I'll be like this, chilling, bro. I'll be like this, chilling. Oh, okay, you're going for the... I already got them. Oh, you're going for... The, yeah, I'm good. I got them. I did a review. I already wore them. I'm, I'm, I got them. <laughs> Back to your regularly scheduled program. Told you, man. I'm hyped. So, let's go. Let's show you the box. Yeah, you know man. This is it right here, nothing else inside. Now I got this from Nike Shock Drop, baby. Had to wait, I, I, was, on, I was on pending for like 20 minutes, but I, I got them. No problemo, got them, let's go. Uh, okay, so let's go with the box. The box got an all black bottom. It got to flip the lid, an all cement gray. You have your red Jordan Jumpman logo and flight in white. Anything else on the box? There's nothing else on the box. It got your Nike Air hit right here and right here. When we get to the label, label reads Air Jordan 4 Retro Black Fire Red Cement Gray, size 11. My size. Style code is FV5029, color code 006, for retail price of $215. Price went up a bit. Now, let's flip the lid and show you what I think. Again, it's probably sneaker, well, top five sneaker of the year for sure. When you flip the lid, you get to the paper, you got your Jordan 4 cement print right here. Oh, okay, so it comes with two of them. We got the cement print and they got your little white paper on the side doing no justice, I, uh, I assume. Now, now, oh, oh, oh man. Man, I'm excited. Anything else in here? Nope. You have your quality. You have your green quality control staff right there. And that's about it. Let me put all this away. Thanks for the packaging. Blah, blah, blah. Right? Now, this is it right here. The Air Jordan 4 Reimagined. Now, there's also uh, the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagine, the Air Jordan 4 Black Cement Reimagine. I like the Black Cement because that's what I grew up on. Bread 
the the terms bread fours came out later on but i'm from the older era so you know we called them the black cement because it's black and then gray cement and then you have the white cement right so here it is reimagine man when i tell you that when this was announced there was a few of us that was falling in love and we didn't even see the shoe we just heard yo it's gonna be a black cement four and leather and we was all hyped and 90 percent of the people hated the shoe and i was like watch when it come out everybody's gonna be on you know all hype about it and i guess what happened everybody getting hype about it so anyways let's go with the shoe and i'll give you the story behind this shoe because it got a good little story and then um maybe i'll compare it to the others wink wink all right so let's start with the bottom the bottom is the jordan 4 bottom red white and gray you have that beautiful nike sign right there making you feel all nostalgic about everything <laughs> then you come up to the midsole it got your black and white midsole with that big gray rubber piece on the front side of the midsole when you get to the upper it's an all black upper 100% black leather oh the leather's good the leather's good guys got that leather up on the side panel the overlays the eyelids everything is black leather then when you come around to the front to the toe box <clears throat> you got your netting and then you got your black laces then you have your tongue oh wow oh wow the leather on the tongue how padded it is too uh oh uh oh we have a problem it's all nice um yeah so we get to the tongue we got your jordan 4 patch the black patch with the red jordan logo and flight in white bars when we get to the eyelets you have your four gray eyelets you got two on the outside one two and then two on the inside one two you have your plastic wings logo on the top in black you got a black leather collar then you have the hang tag now the hang tag is in black so it's a smoked out black nike air hang tag instead of the orange like we used to see in going to the heel you have gray nike air in the back tabs like i said nothing but nostalgic vibes over here i love the shoe didn't even see the shoe and i was amped up when i heard about it a real i mean reimagine a cement for leather what i was hyped i was like yes i need two pairs yeah you know i'm saying going to the <laughs> i'll be tripping right going to the heel you have your clear air bubble with your white airbags inside let me see if there's anything else because even though this is such a classic it's just so simple it's all black and gray um yeah yeah that's 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 about it on the review now these are made differently actually before i go let me see if there's anything here okay so i did forget one thing they both have it but the in souls baby the in souls is red with your nike air on the heel in black you also have a gray sock liner while i put this back in don't forget to like comment and subscribe because not only are you getting an unboxing and review on something that didn't even come out yet it comes out next week actually it comes out the same day as i'll be at sneaker con don't forget february 17 i will be at sneaker con philadelphia while people is on their phone trying to get these i will be at sneaker con already having these in my collection but don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for stopping by don't just watch my videos because i see on my um on my youtube uh we have this this youtube app for the creators and let us know the analytics 
And man, y'all be watching my videos so much. But then y'all don't like subscribe. Like I see my watch time, everything is so high. And it's just like, all right, we'll run into him again. We'll run into him again. Subscribe right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe right now. Do yourself a favor and subscribe now. But anyways, like I said, these sneakers come out on Saturday where I'll be at SneakerCon. Wink, wink again. And um, not only will I give you a review of something that's unreleased, I do comparisons with stuff from 2010. Like I'm about to do a comparison right now. This right here is your Jordan 4 Cement Gray from 2019, guys. Only four years ago. Well, five. Well, yeah, five years ago. 2019 Jordan Cement Black Cement. Jordan Black Cements, right? Now look at the box. Remember, this is the reimagined theme. Something I've been loving about Jordan Brand and the reimagined theme is that they're basically taking our classics and they reimagining them a little different. Some of, them, some of them have great stories. Some of them have no stories. They just did a different quality or something, right? So this right here is the original. Remember, this is 2019. This ain't the 89 original, right? I don't even know. I don't even know if I did a review on this. If not, I'll probably just do a review on this after this. But uh, this is the more original take on the shoe. But before we get on the shoe, let me show you the difference on the box and how they flipped it. So this is the 2019 box and the 2012 box as well. I don't have the 2012 pair, but that basically the same. So you have the cement gray on the bottom and your black lid on the top with your red Jumpman and white flight. However, since we're doing reimagining, reimagining and flipping things around, they actually flip the script on it. You have a black bottom and a gray cement top. So they already flipped that for us, right? Now let's take that out the way. Now this is it right here. The Jordan 2019 cement, black cement. Um, this is Nurebuck material, but besides the material, it's pretty much identical. However, I will be going through some of the differences between the two. So let's start with the most noticeable thing, the leather. So as you can see, the 2019 pair is Nubuck, the 2024 pair is leather, and it's just great quality leather, man. I mean. I'm telling you, bro, this is that good quality. This is that seven, that's out of uh, seven out of 10, eight out of 10 good quality on the toe box, on the side panels, on the tongue. I mean, bro, they did their things on these. And then you have the new buck pair right here. And honestly, ain't nothing really special about the quality of the new buck. Like the Jordan 4 Thunders that just came out last year, which I have a link right here. Um, there that quality new buck is better than this quality. This is more of a Yeah, this is just no bueno. You know what I'm saying? And then that's one. That's the biggest. Di okay, put it like this For the non sneaker heads out there They can tell The difference between these two shoes They can tell probably two things super different the quality that this is leather This is not and the hang tag that this is orange and this is black. After that, to the untrained eye, to the untrained sneaker collector or sneakerhead, they're pretty much, that was it, right? No. This right here is more shaped to the OG85 form and is also kind of shaped like the SB4s. Now, when I heard that, I didn't know what to say because I don't have the SB4 Pine Greens. However, one thing I do appreciate a lot is this back tab this back tab right here is so more softer it's still a little hard but do you know if you are real Jordan forehead you know how many times you got cut if you don't if you didn't have long socks on how much you got cut by this um, heel tab right here 
the, the real two to four people, they know. So this is gonna cut you a lot less because it is a little bit more flimsier and softer. So that's gonna be awesome. Now, going to the toe box of the shoe, the Jordan, the Jordan uh, 2024 is a lot. Oh my goodness, hold on. Hold on, I got another Jordan 4 cement. Hold on. Okay, so there's so many Jordan 4s here. I had to clear out the boxes, but for those who don't know, this pair right here is the 20, is the 2008 pair. And this comes from uh, the Jordan Countdown box right here, the double pack set. That's where this pair comes from right here. So now that I got them all out, I promise I don't have no more Jordan 4 black cements. I promise, all right? <laughs> now that we got them all out, we could do a quick comparison. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wasn't gonna do, I was gonna do a video of this by itself and then do a comparison later on. But I was like, you know what? Let me just give it to you all right now. So now, this is the deal. This is the deal. The Jordan 4 right here is back is more backed up to the 84 pair a little bit the toe box is a lot more better and slimmer the the shoe is more of a um of an angle it doesn't it doesn't hit that curve like if you take this one you can see it goes down and like that kind of like a little l or or like a <coughs> yeah like a little l and then the same with this one See what I'm saying? Now all of these pairs are DS. Oh wow, I just noticed something. The uh these are cracking big time. I don't even know if I should. That's the bad thing about being a collector, man. You know, got these Jones right here and you wear them once they're gonna crack they're all ashy anyways all right so you can tell my voice I got sad right is this there's so much Jordan 4 overload right now all right hold on okay so now let's go with the heels let me turn these around well, actually I'll show you a better close-up now when you're going through the heel you can tell that obviously the one with the Jordan Jumpman on it that's the older version but look how short it is this is like a mid this is like a Jordan 4 mid because in the retros they made it a little bit less technology less materials bloom 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 right and then now the last four to five years we started getting retros with the OG cut or very similar to the OG cut so this one is very distinctive. You can tell for a mile away that these are super different. However, they all have the same pattern. They're all black in the upper, got the black netting, got the, the white and black midsole and red and the bottom. You know, this is, they all identical. Look at the bottom. They're all, actually do like this. They're all the same in the bottom. There's nothing different except that this pair right here has the Jordan in the bottom. Then when you get to the top, they all have the gray little eyelets on the, um, uh, where the lace is supposed to be at. The only difference is that this one, the two bottom one are actually a shiny plastic. Now, I don't know if it's cause of age or something, but the shiny plastic on the 2008 is only in the bottom. When you get to the heel, like I was saying, the Jordan Jumpman logo on the heel, that's very distinctive. However, when you get to the heel on the newer ones, you can tell there, these are, hold on, these are 10 and a half or 11. All right, so this one's actually a 10 and a half, but it's not much of a big difference anyways. These two are 11. The 2019 and the 2024 are a size 11 max. When you look at the back, it's pretty much identical. The heel tabs are exactly the same on the 24, the 2024 and the 2019 pair. Going to the midsole is exactly the same as well in the bottom. Then when you get to the rubber, I mean, 
when you get to the air sole unit is exactly the same again like I said these shoes are basically identical except for the huge difference of the leather you got the, the cut and the materials is different right so now let me take this out so you can see some the inside of this shoe also says Nike Air but when you get to the tongue see this is the major part too when you look at all the tongues now this is all the right shoe right This is the right shoe to all of them. When you get to the tongue, major difference. The major difference on the tongue is that you cannot see. You cannot see the red behind the tongue. That's another thing that they, they went to the throwback edition for because the 2008, you can see the red right here on the tongue. The 2019, you see the red lining on the tongue. The 2024, no red lining. It's not overlapping, it's hidden. That's more tribute to the throwback, to the, to the originals in 89 or 88, right? Another thing I just noticed right now that's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. If you look at the nets, if you look at the net on the um, toe cap, on the toe box, and on the side, it's a lot smaller. So, if you look at the netting, you have a grid pattern. And the corners of all four squares is flat. When you get to the 2019 pair and the 2024 pair, you're going to see that the four corners has a little bubble on it. Now, I'm gonna do some research and try to see if I can see a, 20, uh, a, a 1988 pair to see if they have the bubbles on the square. And if I could find it, I'll put it up there for you guys. But right there, you can see that it got the bubbles on the squares on all four corners. And the 2019 pair is a little bit smaller, but it still got it. The, tw the 2008 pair has no bubbles on the square. That's basically it, I mean, pretty much a similar a similar sneaker throughout all decades um except for a few tweaks in here and there but i'm very very excited on the jordan 4 black cement reimagine i'm telling you as of today right now this is my top like without thinking this is definitely my top uh top three sneakers so far i'm not gonna think ahead because I know the Jordan 17s are coming out and I'm, I'm excited but I don't know if they'll crack number one however these have a chance to crack number one this is so amazing I mean did you remember how happy I got when I got the bread I mean the bread when I got the Jordan 4 Oreos I'll put a link right here <laughs> but hold on this is the Jordan 4 Oreos that I wore so much I just got this sneaker from a sneaker convention trade. It's not a, this is a 2015, 2015, right? And this is not a pair I had since 2015. When I tell you I got this in September, that makes it four months or whatever, right? Five months. When I got this in September in the sneaker trade, I already wore this over 10 times. 10 times I wore this, bro. 10, more than 10 times. You know why? Because it's so sleek. It's good. Look at this leather, man. It's good quality. It's just so basic. Black and gray. You could fucking, you could do anything to it. It's basically borderline indestructible at this point. Where this, I never wore. I got it. Obviously, you have to have this in the collection. You know what I'm saying? A 2000, a 2019 bread for 2019 black cement four with the nike air on the back what yes i had to get it um haven't worn because the new buck material and i'm gonna be honest with you jordan fours are uncomfortable for me they're like tight the new buck material don't stretch as much 
and then this right here just always cuts into my socks into my ankle i'll start bleeding bro like if you wear this with socks this can friction the sock a bit but if you have no socks bro this right here will cut into your skin you know what I mean? Now, I, I wore socks. I meant to say low profile or uh, ankle. You got to wear like mids, like mid socks or high socks. You know what I mean? And it's just like, bro, why, man? Why you make this so hard like that? But that's why I kind of really didn't wear these as much. You know what I mean? Plus the material, it gets stained very easily. But this one, man, you can wear this all the time. You can wear this one all the time. And guess what? It's leather. And it's good quality leather, so get, guess what? You start wearing this, it's gonna start um, breaking in a lot better. It's gonna be more comfortable. I heard that this was based off the Jordan 4 SB um, collaboration. And if that's the case, and I heard that was the most comfortable Jordan 4 ever. Actually, it's just the most comfortable, it's one of the most comfortable shoes out right now. Not even Jordan, just comfortable wise. And if this is half of that, then I'm happy because the Jordan 4s, they're a little narrow, man. You know, hit me with that pinky toe right here. You know, it's, it's a little much sometimes. But hopefully the new cut, the wider cut right here, the leather will make it a lot better. But anyways, guys, that's your video. That's the comparison of all three black cement 4s I have in my collection. The 2008 countdown pack right here. I picked up the 2019 what the 2008 countdown pack with the Jordan logo in the back the 2019 Jordan 4 with the Nike Air on the back and then the reimagined baby right here Nike Air in the back the good leather throughout the whole shoe I will be rocking these also don't forget to like comment subscribe I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers very soon and hey if you're stopping by my videos and you watch for more than one minute subscribe man hit that subscribe button show some love support the channel it's free hit that like hit that subscribe commenting all of that stuff is free man it's free it's free it's free help me hit that 1000 until next time loungers peace out